Hello everybody and welcome to Romanceful's Tarot. I'm about to begin here with a reading. Now, it is a general reading, so that being said, it might not resonate with everybody, so please do take whatever resonates with you and simply leave the rest aside. If ever though you feel as though you would like to have your own personal reading, you're in search of answers, you're looking for some um, for some guidance, please do contact me at romancefultarot at gmail.com and it will be my great pleasure to send you the different type of readings that I can offer you so that we can go and find the answers that you're searching for. Also, if you do enjoy the channel and you have not yet subscribed, please do click the subscribe button to show your support to the channel and to myself and it would be greatly appreciated. So with no further ado, we're going to begin this reading. I'm very excited about this reading. I love readings on true love. Now, this reading, this channeled reading. So with no further ado, my dear friend Aquarius, I'm going to deliver you the message that I am supposed to deliver. So we're going to be talking about some boundaries, about some compatibility, and we're going to be talking about some self-respect. All right, let's begin over here with the boundaries. Now, a clear and healthy sense of self is really a great foundation for love. Most people understand the concept of healthy boundaries, but they aren't always sure how to put them into practice. And boundaries could be described as simply having a clear and a healthy sense of self and who you are. But um, what makes you tick and what you know, and what affects you both positively and negatively. Now, a common example of unhealthy boundaries is the apparent inability to say no when feeling pressured by a perspective. New or existing partner into doing or behaving in a way that isn't in harmony with your truth. For example, if you love the ocean and you need to go for a walk every day to maintain your emotional balance and you invite your partner to go, but your partner doesn't think it's, it's, doesn't think it's important, doesn't enjoy it, well, you know, you shouldn't make it fade away in your life. This is something that you need and it's important that you have it. Now, there can be many gray areas that, you know, um, there could even be... Um, many great areas in life between the reasonable, the compromise, the compromising, the health, the boundaries. Every person is unique and each situation is different. And the most important um, thing here is to make your boundaries and preferences clear early on in the relationship or your partner may just feel annoyed and very resentful when you bring it up months or even several years down the track. In an existing relationship, it's important to communicate your feelings, your needs, your preferences by owning them yourself. So you can say, I need time for myself. So from now on, I will go to the beach once a week on my own. And this is much more constructive than, oh, well, you never, you never want to go to the beach. It's um, become impossible. I have to drag you down there. You ruined that for me. <sighs> oh, la, la, that doesn't sound nice. So, um, you know. It's just all about the way of putting things, the way of saying things while having other people respect your boundaries. Now, you've received this message today because it really is time for you to look at the way that you have set your personal boundaries um, in the past as well as into the present because you don't want to repeat the same mistakes you've done into the past. So take a gentle look at what these boundaries have created for you in your life so far and resolve to reset them whenever it's necessary. Okay, so um, ask your angels and your guides to support you in communicating more lovingly and clearly from now on. We're going to move on to compatibility, but that is a problem for a lot of couples out there. Um, you received this message today because your angels and your guides would like you to understand the vital truth that a great relationship is all about compatibility. Now, in the past, you may have tried to change or improve something about yourself in order to attract a soulmate. Or you may even believe that your current partner doesn't understand or doesn't appreciate you and the real issue, however, may be just one of compatibility. The synergy of compatibility creates a strong foundation for a healthy relationship, but it demands that you be honest with yourself about your true priorities, which may change as the years go by. So take time to dig a little bit deeper into your feelings, into your ideals and your aspirations, and be sure to ask out a partner who can understand and who can support them. 
in your existing relationship, you need to clarify yourself with your partner and then take action to live from your truth. And your self-esteem is going to blossom and your partner's response will reveal to whether you are still compatible or not. When we look at relationships through the lens of compatibility, we can easily see that no one is better than anyone else. And approaching a potential partner in this way is much more constructive. And it turns dating into what it should be, an opportunity to find out if you're compatible. Now, aspirations for the future are particularly important for new and existing relationships. The pie in the sky fantasies can be fun, but you know, what do you really want to do and be throughout your life. Being honest with your would-be or current partner about your aspirations is absolutely crucial. So in order to attract the best match or improve your relationship, the foundation stones need to be strong. You need to forget the superficial that disappear or fade out with time and age. Take time to become clear about what type of person and lifestyle are most compatible with you. Very important message. And we're going to conclude with self-respect. Whether you're in a relationship or not, self-respect is the key to how other people perceive or treat you. And sometimes self-respect may seem to take you down a lonely road, but even that part of the journey is worthwhile. If you aren't willing to speak up for what you believe in, walk away from the situation that you know, are damaging to you and act from your own integrity. And how can anyone else truly care or no, if you don't. At times, it's tempting to compromise your self-respect for security, for survival. And as a short-term measure, this may be necessary while you get your life in order. But as a long-term measure, this is unhealthy for you, your heart and your soul. And you have drawn this message today because the universe would like you to have a look at the ways that you have compromised yourself in the past or present in order to secure a ma and maintain a relationship. Now real life and spiritual growth are not about taking the convenient path. <clears throat> in fact, love and spiritual growth often demand that we face challenges and situations. But most people breach their own integrity and compromise their self-respect from time to time. Living a fulfilling life is not about being perfect. It's about acknowledging what is and choosing a healthier course of action from now on. And when you live from your truth, a life of integrity and self-respect are all the natural outcomes. And your angel, your spirit guides, and the entire universe are standing by to help you attain that level of quality and fulfillment. You need to ask for their help and act on their guidance and the urging of your own intuition and your gut and your heart. So that being said, my dear friends Aquarius, this does complete your true love reading with the universe. I hope that you enjoyed the reading. I hope you'll be able to apply it. I hope you'll take all these keywords. If you do have any questions or you would like a reading, you know where to contact me. Please don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Stay tuned for following readings and have yourself a wonderful day. Thank you again.